All right, November 9th, 2038. 11 in the morning. Currently with Connor and Hank, and hopefully having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Where are we? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? Oh, did we make the good choice? Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviants, it's him. Isn't Kamsky the guy that um gifted What was he called? The the, the robot coil? Gifted Marcus to Carl. Oh. Oh, it's her. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. For those that don't know who she is, okay. she sits on the main menu of the game and just randomly, randomly speaks to you. But she go, are we friends now? I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Wait for the android. We'll just have a look around. That's him. Nice yes, girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. <laughs> How does it feel? Literally. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. <laughs> His father. Do, 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 do. Hello. Oh. oh. Look who it is. Amanda. AI professor at the University of Colbridge. She died. She's dead. Tech addict, space tourism on the rise. With the advent of, of reusable space shuttles, space tourism is becoming a reality. For those able to afford it, luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three hour orbit of the moon, affording spectacular views of Earth through a spec uh, speci specially designed observation deck. Virgin Atlantic have just released their first space travel for consumers, right? Did I read? I'm sure I read something about that. Did I? <clears throat> uh, as competition increases in its growing market, consumers uh, can expect such trips to become more and more affordable. But consumer rights activists are already decaying such boutique experiences as a sign of the widening social equality gap. A spokeswoman for Aid on Poverty, AOP, said, While the top 1% are enjoying Earth from space, the rest of us are down here suffering from pollution, famine and poverty. Clear Skies was not available for comment, but the new slogan for their spacefaring holiday looks increasingly apt. Get away from it all. Okay. 
Tech Addict Cyberlife's Fortune Telecomputer. Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exoflops, 1 billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, Cyberlife's director of futurology, is highly confident we've been testing for a while and the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions and global climate disasters like meteors or superviruses. The computer can help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predict doomsday dooms doomsday predictions, for those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already. Many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. My lips got in the way. My lips. <laughs> oh. Hello. Glad you will see you now. Okay. Oh boy. He has more than one. Is that a Mr. Kamsky? Blood pool? Just a moment, please. Very Fong Shui house. This guy could be the guy behind Dory 9. He's only young, though. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so <laughs> superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Oh. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. Oh, no. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. 
flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here, important please. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. Ooh. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. I'm surprised these androids have not become deviant against him. No war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. We didn't learn anything. By the way, From I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Hmm. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? thing. Oh, hell yeah. Well, at least we got our relationship with Hank up. Beat Kamsky. Oh god, that could have gone a lot further. If we would have, if I would have shot her. Wonder what we would have found out. Hmm. Interesting. So this is not much later. Android riots. Oh, God, here we go. What if they put in the paper about us? A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with Cyberlife stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this was an everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. The worst incident was in the Capitol Park, where police attended the scene of where confronted androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioural bug. An eyewitness who asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as the, as the behavior of a deranged machine. 
Some are already connecting the issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning, the beginning of a distributing and perplexing pattern. We didn't hold a knife to anybody, right? I'm pretty sure. Only two countries have android industries and rival the United States, Russia and China, and they are locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, which continues to overtake the Western hemisphere by leaps and bounds. Cyberlife's almost human model of android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed androids that reflect their national economies. After failing to emulate the blue blood model of design, Russia's android manufacturers rely more on traditional construction methods. The resulting machines are less anthropo uh, anthropic and capable of operating cold and in inhospitable conditions. China's androids use an alternate blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation, but greater efficiency. The results are androids capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. Who is winning the new space race? With everybody going in different directions, it's soon. It's, it's too soon to tell. Hmm. All right. Is there anything else around here? Let's play a piano. <laughs> yeah, I was play. I had, I had to mash A to play that. I kind of played at a steady tempo. Oh, I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We've freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Jericho is not going to be safe at some point. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she?
North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Eating club. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. <clears throat> and without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> What's he doing? I... I saw your memories. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Did you just say lover up in the top corner as well? <clears throat> oh, what we're doing? Wait, I need to hydrate. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus? Please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Raleigh, your people convert more androids. There are androids here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. What is about to happen? Come with us. There's one over here we missed. What the? You're free. How are the owners of these androids not noticing that they're, uh, well, especially the one at the window dropping the shopping bags, not noticing their androids just gone? You're awake now. Block the road. Oh no, what are we doing? Yes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! You Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. I don't want to intervene with that. You're free. In case it was a violent option, option there. I need to block the street. Oh. Oh. It's 
blocked. Open manhole cover. You don't have to obey them. You're free. I don't think there's any more androids on the other side. <clears throat> what is going to happen right now? Convert more androids. You're free now. Whoa. We're just marching down the street. Oh, where's the cops? Question is, is where's all the others? Oh god, the cameras are changing my walking direction. They just want to be free, you know. Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are people. Fucking fine. We are people. We are people. We are people. We are people. Here we go. 
We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying. That is true. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. That was the the droid from the thing. Jesus. Talk to Amanda. Where is she? She so reminds me of like the Oracle. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Mm -hmm. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Why did Kamsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not oh. ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Oh boy. 
You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Half unlocked. Question is now what? Maybe we still investigate it. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They don't want to be free, Lieutenant. They're defective machines that have to be destroyed. I pressed the wrong thing. I pressed the wrong thing. I pressed the wrong one. But maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe these deviants have actually developed a certain kind of consciousness. We'd be destroying a new life form. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. My actions were determined by statistical data. I'm not a deviant. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. Hmm. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor, but I'm not gonna help you. God, what we're doing. Are we becoming deviant? I have orders, you know. Okay. He's escaping. Stop him. Oh! <laughs> What if, if we go this way, are we aiming at stopping them? Or if we let the time run out, are we going to go with Hank? Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. 
Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. You <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> he smiled, on, but he tried to. Get a fucking move on. Fucking androids. Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant shoes. <laughs> Obviously. Fucking password. <laughs> oh boy. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Four seven one G needed. Rupert, the android with the birds. Nine one six four. I'm thinking Simon. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Three nine three V. Three nine three nine eight three V. Was it three nine three nine eight three V? Three nine eight three V. Okay, so it is that go. We're not examining any of this stuff. So you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Try to trick him. What if I. Wait, no, can I cancel this? Can I imitate just. his voice? No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. We can. This message is the hope of a people. But it is also a warning.
Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Bloody statue we found in the uh, shower, wasn't it? Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus, is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. That just looks weird. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho. Y yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me again, Marcus. Don't leave! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Uh oh. I like how he just plays with his tie after he's finished with it. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm! Now! 